Hey there again. Okay, video number 24, but for module 2 it's going to be video number 8. And in this video we're going to talk about the Bollinger Bands. Alright, let's take you back to the trading station again. Alright, let's um, remove some of the junk on this um, chart. And the way we can do that is right click, choose Indicators List. And then we can remove the indicators by highlighting them, pressing Delete and then Close. Alright. Just um, put on the auto scroll. Okay, so as before, navigate a list and to all open your indicators. And what we're looking for here is the Bollinger Bands. And go ahead, right click, uh, left click, drag and drop, and you'll have some parameter settings that you'll need to adjust. Now, the uh, the period you can leave as it is, the deviations too, you can leave it as it is. We've got a medium C green here. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just choose black. Okay. And I'm going to choose a larger thickness as well so we can see the lines better. And I'm going to click on OK. Alright. Alright, so, OK. So, let's see where, let's, get, let's minimize this window a little bit so we can see some more information. Alright. Now, the Bollinger Bands basically takes a measurement of the volatility previously and then um, applies the volatation kind of information ahead so when you see a lot of movement in the market like you say if it's going up you'll start seeing the top band which is here and the bottom band this is here getting further and further apart from each other and then as the market starts to become diluted and there's not really much going on the volume in the market starts to drop and when it starts to drop you'll start seeing the top and the bottom bands getting smaller and smaller to a point it gets to you know it's like a bottleneck you know it's like you're squeezing um, the top of the bottle to you know prevent all the water or the beer coming out of it as soon as you let go it bursts and then boom and there you go so here we can see here like the pressure is being applied, it's being squeezed together and eventually it needs to break out one way or the other. Normally the general rule of thumb is, is that the first, the first indicator to break out either the top or the bottom will dictate where it's going to go. Alright, let's give you another example. Like for instance, we can see that as the market's gone up, we can see now the bands are moving further away from each other, but as the market is starting to um, become smaller in volume it starts to the band start to get smaller uh, and get close together and then at the point of the breakout the top part of the bar um, the Bollinger Band here and down the bottom you can see this bar breaks the bottom and therefore it dictates the rest of the trend then you can see the um, again it's starting to the bars uh, the the bands are getting closer together, the top band and the bottom band are getting closer together and then we can see the breakout of this candle here which will dictate that this is now the direction that we should be going in which is long. All right. Um, also as well a, a good indication when to get out is actually the third um, break. Let's say we're going short um, and we want to work out where we want to get out of this trade the, f the best way to do that is calculate three instances where the candles have actually broken below the bottom of the uh, Bollinger Band so here is the first instance here is another instance right there and there's another instance right here so we can get out around about there but as as we've taken note before as the Bollinger Bands get closer together and when it breaks out again it will dictate where to go so you can basically stay in there um, so one two stay in three so right there I'll actually get out and close the trade alright um, here is we've got one two three peaks and then it tells you when to get out alright as if we're coming in for sure we can just barely see there's a little break there and there's a little break there and there's a little break there to tell us when to get out alright and then if we want it to go long we take the first candle of the break of the top and then we count three so one two three tells us to get out right there and then the Bollinger Bands um, kind of get close together then there's a break right here so um, 
and we have one, two, three. We have three Pearson out. You can just see it right there, and it tells us to get out around about there. All right. Um, another way that we can actually use the Bollinger Bands is to really wait for the Bollinger Bands to be hit at the bottom and then take the break of the middle Bollinger Band and then take the third exit of the bar like of when it pierces above so it is bar number one here's bar number two here's bar number three and we close out right here alright and then we can see that the, um, the Bollinger Bands are being hit by the candle and then there's the um, the candle here that actually breaks the middle of the Bollinger Band and then we can go short on the next bar now it's important that the body really does break the middle of the Bollinger Band you don't really want it to um, have the towel or the wick to break it you really need the body to break it like this is the instance here when the market came down it came below the, um, the Bollinger Bands it didn't really get to that point and we hit that bottom of that Bollinger Band but it's close enough so it's still okay and then we basically went long on the next candle on this bar here so here is our confirmation and the top part of the body here actually closes above this uh, middle part of the Bollinger Band alright and then we get out on the third peak of the can of the candlestick which is that, that green bar right there so the same thing again for when we want to look for a short trade is we want to see it penetrate through the bottom here and then make sure that the next candle is also below and then go short and here we are we're going short and we're waiting for one two three three bars actually um, penetrate outside of the bottom of the Bollinger Band and then we'll basically close our trade there and then we'll wait for another break all right so here we can see that where the bars the bears have actually got um, tighter closer together and then we're looking for the break this one here is not really a, a true break because it's still inside the bottleneck but when it starts to break out to really show some definition in its move that's when that's your first um, alert and then we can see right here it is an, um, you know time to go long here um, from the time of the last video to this video it was literally um, about 60 seconds and we can see now that I've just made like another 40 pips on this trade so we're 173 pips up on this all right equivalent it's about two 1.7 percent it might not mean a lot of money to most people but when we when you see my trading style you'll see that hopefully that this balance will get you know very big um, towards the end all right um, so yeah you don't really need to trade too aggressively just trade you know normal money management and then you should be okay all right so basically this is how, how we work with the Bollinger Bands all right we do have other strategies that we can use like the hammer and the hammer is basically as it sounds it the candle looks like a hammer all right and when you see them um, appear at the bottom you go long or when you see um, like Twin Peaks you go you go long as well um, here is like one kind of like Twin Peaks when you have two candles basically of the same um, you know bottom part of the body that equal then you can go go long um, and the same thing with a with a short trade you're really looking for two bars but we will get into this a little bit more in candlestick formations and how we can use them in conjunction with other indicators as well all right um, but for for the time being I can't really see any well here's a bit of a hammer here that happens right at the bottom but it's not a perfect one um, and it's an inverse hammer uh, but anyways um, but yeah I will leave you with that so just um, basically you know for the, uh, for the most part what you would really want to look for is really these areas here where they basically come in together and then your your time to actually get ready to go for the trade is when they start to expand out from each other and then when the bar breaks one or the other that will dictate where to go you can see this one breaks going on the new bar and then crikey look this one just keeps on going up alright um, when to get out well this bar here actually closes below the middle of the Bollinger Band you could essentially from here to there that's 135 pips so from there essentially you could book in 50 uh, 50 pips and not close the trade and see what happens to see if it keeps on going up if you chose that option 
Uh, oh, crikey, that's 400 pips in 54 times 4 hours, that's 200 hours. And this one, uh, 70, that's 280 hours. So, you know, that's about almost about a week and a half. Um, this trade at the moment we have open, it's been open since the 7th and it's now the 12th. So it's five days that this trade has been open plus the weekend. All right, 180 pips up. Anyway, so I will leave you with um, that video for the moment and I will see you very shortly in the next one. All right, bye for now.